We made the advanced tutorial and this is going to be a very simple version of that for people who don't need that many options. You just want to remove the music from your VOD on Twitch and you don't really need a million other options and you don't really care about how everything works. You just want it done. So let's jump right into it and start talking about the software that you're going to need. Soundtrack by Twitch is what makes this possible. So pick your version, the OBS version or the Streamlabs OBS version. I'm going to pick the OBS version and then I'm going to download this. I'll let you install it however you like. You're going to want to make sure that Open Broadcaster is closed while you're installing this because it installs a plugin that's very necessary to Open Broadcaster. So install that. The next program we're going to need is a program called Voice Meter, and a lot of you have heard of this out there. This is Voice Meter Banana. It's a simple version of the program. In the advanced version, we use Potato because we're doing more things, but this one we're only going to use Banana. So go ahead and download and install that. Once you're finished, it's going to ask you to reboot. So pause the video, close your browser, reboot and come back and let's get to the next step. All right, the last program, probably one of the most interesting programs in this video, is Ear Trumpet. You get that on the Windows Store, so you have to hit start and open up, you know, your Windows 10 or Microsoft Store or whatever. Just search for Ear Trumpet, it's all one word, and then click and install this. Once this is finished installing, down here on the bottom, see this? We've got another speaker here. We've got Ear Trumpet, and then we have our regular sound speaker settings. So now that Ear Trumpet's installed, it's a much better way to manage our audio volume levels, it's a much better mixer. We've, we can right click and like change our audio devices and stuff like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the old speakers because I just want everything to be ear trumpet. So you right click on the taskbar, hit taskbar settings, scroll down to turn system icons on or off and the volume, just turn that off. Now we only have the one. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is configure our voice meter banana. Over here, this is all hardware stuff like microphones and stuff that you actually plug into your computer. You can ignore all the hardware for this video. We're just looking at these two virtual inputs. So the first thing you want to do is voice meter VIO. You want to essentially plug up all of your desktop audio into this input. So the easiest way to do that is to right click down here and select your default audio device as voice meter input VAIO. Now what that's doing is it's telling your computer that all your desktop sounds are now plugged into this input. And now we have three outputs here, three different selections we can choose from for our speakers. So set this to your uh, your headphones, whatever it is, or your speakers, whatever speakers you wanna use. I'm gonna use my Realtek speakers here. There we go. And then you wanna make sure that whatever channel you have, A1, A1, that's gonna be coming out of A1. So A1, A1, that those are selected. If you uncheck these, then you won't be able to hear them here on your selected uh, speakers. Really quick, um, you're gonna wanna use WDM most of the time because that's the lowest latency when it comes to Windows. If you use MME, that's fine, but that's um, probably gonna be for someone who has a sound card or is doing something more advanced and it's gonna add a little bit of latency, but some sound cards do need that. For most of you, WMD, just pick that one. All right, so now all of our desktop audio is going right here. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna separate out our music and plug it in right here to our auxiliary. So we have all of our desktop except for the music that's gonna plug in here. Now, how do we do that? Well, that's why we installed Ear Trumpet. If you click on Ear Trumpet, it shows all the stuff. And if you click a little, little arrow right here, it brings everything up that's on your computer, everything that's playing. So let me open Spotify and I'll show you. You need something to be playing for it to show up over on Ear Trumpet. So look, Spotify just showed up down here now because it's playing. If you click on it, it mutes it. If you right click on it, it allows you to change the options. So we can click here. Right now it's going to the default playback device. So it's just everything in your desktop should be going to the default playback device. But by changing this, we can come down here and say, no, 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 let's go to the auxiliary. Voice meter aux input, click on that one. It's now going here. So we got a little bit of audio showing up there, a tiny bit. Let's turn it up so we can watch what it's doing. See, we got some levels right there. It's going here, but our desktop audio is going over here. If you have other music applications like Winamp or Fubar or Google Play or any other music apps, you can open those up as well. Play something with the music app here. And once the music app is open and playing, you'll see it right there. Oh, there it is. There's my Fubar. Right click and make sure that it's going to auxiliary. You want to make sure that your auxiliary is not also going to B1. Because what this is, A1 through 3, that's your hardware outputs, and B1 and 2 are your software inputs. So if you say auxiliary goes to B1, it's plugging in to here as well. So B1 and B2, that'll fix that. Okay, so now what we need to do is map this into Open Broadcaster. So open up Open Broadcaster, and here we only have our mic right now. That's all I have set up. And then you'll see this now that you open up Open Broadcaster, the VOD audio for soundtrack by Twitch. That's gonna be on the bottom. 
just leave it there no big deal hit settings and we're going to map our audio since you have this new soundtrack by twitch plugin installed desktop audio is going to be muted when you're watching the vod when you're watching the stream it can stay on but on the vod desktop audio is going to be muted so we can send our auxiliary audio that we made remember in voice meter banana send your auxiliary audio here so voice meter aux input right there next up there's our microphone do not use desktop audio 2 because it will be muted on your vod unless you want it to be muted but just leave it disabled and then for the mic auxiliary 2 we'll turn that into our desktop which was the voice meter vaio check this out i'm gonna hit apply let's play a video i'm gonna show you something i'll play it at low volume so there our video is playing now it's coming out of the speaker. Sorry about the double in the microphone, but you'll get the idea. See, it's coming over here. And then if I play music, so the music's up top. And the desktop's on the bottom. We all have three separate things. So I can right-click and rename this. So I'm going to right-click and rename the bottom one to my desktop. I like to call it desktop sneaky. So the desktop audio now is going to be on your VOD, but your music won't. Now, how does this all work? So when you click on advanced audio properties by right clicking and then selecting advanced audio properties you'll see tracks what are tracks well just like in a movie when you have like english italian spanish french russian chinese german american when you have all those options those are all separate audio tracks so inside here we can have different audio tracks and say different sources will be available on each different track now by default in obs track one that's your streaming track and track six is your vod track and notice automatically here, our music was unchecked. That's because it was one of our desktop sources. So when you're using the soundtrack um, by Twitch or whatever it is, it will automatically disable your desktop audio for VOD. That's how it works. In order for this to really work, you have to make sure that soundtrack by Twitch is open. Push the X, it won't close, but it needs to be running. See, it's down here in the system tray. That's fine, just hit X. Don't close the program, it needs to be running. Now you can use this program as well, it was designed to be a way for you to play music while you're streaming and then not have it on the VOD. Um, the thing is, is that that soundtrack program, it's not immune to DMCA takedown notices, even if you, you know, are streaming with it or something. And none of this is fully immune to DMCA takedown notices. What we're doing is we're just making sure there's no audio on your VOD so you don't get in trouble for that. I've heard of a few instances when people stream and they get live DMCA takedown notices. So I'm going to advise that you still stay away from mainstream major artists, major labels. Play more indie stuff, play video game soundtracks, play something like that. You'll have a better time. Your audience will probably have a better time. Play industrial techno, something that no one's ever heard of before. But you can still do this and ensure that you won't get a DMCA takedown notice on your VOD because it'll have no music. It's really that simple. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Listen, if you cannot figure this out, but you're a DJ or somebody who just streams all the time and you really want to make sure you can remove the audio, you can message me. I'm over on Twitter, uh, Logan underscore RTW, or you can post in the comments here and listen if you really 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 having a hard time and cannot figure this out i want to make sure i can help all of you if i have time just let me know and i will try to help you live we'll see what i can do if, if i'm available but you know still could be liable to get a dmca takedown notice no guarantees but this will allow you to play a lot of music without huge headaches on your vods and last but not least i want to thank our sponsors us we got some pretty cool stuff over here got our new t-shirts here cyber funk get it before the game comes out and wear it on your stream and then we also have some uh, mice and keyboard, mouse pads, whole plethora of things. Our keyboards, they're water resistant, so you can spill stuff on them. And they're also really quiet, so that makes them good for streaming. That's what I use when I stream, and you can't hear the keyboard. Not often, unless I get really into something. So there you have it. Head over to epicpants.com. Thanks for watching, and f the RIAA. I want you to use private internet access. This video is not sponsored by private internet access, but we do have an affiliate link and I've been using them for about six years. And the main reason I stick with private internet access is, well, number one, the price, but the most important thing is the security I get for that price and also the speed I get for that price. So I've seen a lot of other VPNs over the years have leaks and they say they don't log IP addresses and stuff and it turns out they do. Whereas private internet access has been solid the entire time with no leaks of private data or anything like that. So your ISP and your government, they're not gonna find out what stuff you're illicitly tore, I mean, uh, uh, your cookie recipes. They're not gonna find out any of that stuff. But with this, you connect to one of their servers and then browse the internet anonymously
monthly from their server. You can get a VPN for $2.69 a month, plus you'll get two months free with this. You're also going to get a cloud security license for Boxcryptor, and that'll let you encrypt your files. Extra little bonus there. So be sure to click on the link in the top of the description and protect yourself on the internet. That's what I do.